in every large organization, like every big firm, every civil service department, the armed forces and so on, there must be hundreds, even thousands. If all the homosexuals were to leave their jobs simultaneously, the economy of the country would be thrown into something like chaos. In Britain alone, there are at least one million men and one million women who are homosexual. Now, for some reason, the law takes an entirely different attitude toward the two sexes in this matter. Between women, homosexuality is perfectly legal. But between men, it's a crime, rendering the offender liable to several years of imprisonment. There are only half a dozen countries in the world in which it is a crime, but for some reason, Britain is one of them. So what's it like, then, to be a male homosexual in Britain today whose only choice is between a lifetime of complete sexual abstinence or being a criminal? Pretending the whole time, guarding your language the whole time. Um, I feel that to a certain extent, homosexuals can be recognized by what they say, even when they're discussing perfectly ordinary topics. Therefore, I, I guard what I say, even on perfect ordinary topics. I guard what I say the entire time. How do you think homosexuals reveal themselves when they're talking about ordinary topics? Perhaps in the assumptions they make about their future, which are going to be different from heterosexual futures. Um, I make a deliberate effort in my conversation, sometimes, to imply that marriage is in my future. But talking at ease, I might give away the fact that, in practice, I know it's not going to be at any part of my future. I might make some remark which shows I take it for granted that marriage, children, perhaps even a house, are sort of something I know are perhaps never going to happen to me. And that is possibly a giveaway. Did you find it very hard to come to terms with the fact that you are homosexual? Yes from about 16 till about 20, 22 or 23. Um, the whole of that time it was associated in my mind with guilt, sordid matters, elderly unpleasant men. Um, it was in no way associated with reasonable, mature, normal, ordinary, pleasant people. What happened to change this? <laughs> met somebody who was reasonable, ordinary, pleasant, mature and normal and who was queer.